Welcome back. In today's Power and Money News, you're looking at protesters demonstrating outside the Manhattan apartment of KKR founder Henry Kravis. The picketers are accusing private equity leaders like Kravis of getting rich at the expense of American workers. They took to the streets today. The protest is timed to today's release of a new web movie taking aim at Kravis and private equity practices called The War on Greed. Joining me now, the film's director, Robert Greenwald, whose previous movies include Walmart, The High Cost of Low Price. Nice to have you with us, sir. Welcome to the program. Thank you. So the, the film basically says private equity firms are taking over public companies using primarily borrowed money, and to pay off the debt, they fire people, they cut benefits, they sell assets. Do you think this is a bit of an oversimplification? Well, I think that it's accurate. Whether we oversimplified in telling the story, I think if you look at the film, you'll see it doesn't say every private equity company does it, by the way. We're very clear that there are, in this case, Henry Kravitz and KKR are abusing the system. They are taking advantage of our tax dollars, of American citizens, and of workers, and not just workers, communities and customers all around the country. Thousands and thousands of people are being laid off. At the very same time, they take hundreds of millions of dollars out just for pushing paper and closing these deals where they take over a company, where they've done no work whatsoever. Let's, let's take a, a listen to a clip uh, of the film, which basically underscores what you're saying. Listen to this. On most of their income, Henry Kravis and the other private equity tycoons pay half the tax rate that firemen, teachers, and policemen pay. Private equity companies have spent millions of dollars on lobbying to protect their tax loopholes. Now, some private equity people might say, look, it's not necessarily as simple as it looks because they are being taxed uh, a, a different way because it's basically their money on the line. Uh, and that's why they're being taxed uh, more favorably. Well, you, you know and virtually everybody knows that's inaccurate. In fact, it's truly an obscenity that this man, Henry Kravitz, made $450 million last year much of it earned by borrowing money from the banks, and he should pay a lower percentage in taxes than a fireman or a policeman. I think it's outrageous, and the only reason that system exists is because they're spreading millions of dollars to Washington lobbyists, to law firms, and to the banks. And I cannot believe that there's anybody in this country that really thinks that should continue. Well, he also built his business. Uh, nobody gave it to him. A lot of these guys d built their business from scratch and have done well. Why punish somebody who's actually worked hard to do very well for himself? Well, I'm not suggesting punishing him, but $450 million and paying a lower tax rate than a fireman is not about punishing him. It's about fairness and it's about protection. Look, we all know capitalism functions at its best when protections are built in. You remove the laws, you have lawlessness. That's what we have now. That's what the film and the War on Greed campaign is going to call attention to. This is the first step. We're going to continue for several months. We're interviewing workers all over the country who've been thrown out of jobs, thousands and thousands of workers at well, the if, same if, time. If private equity moves offshore, there's going to be a lot more of that, that's for sure. Uh, I, don't, I don't think that that, I think that that's a threat they always use. These guys are not giving up their hundreds of millions. And again, you'll see in the next video coming up over the next couple of months, the toll on the numbers of workers is extraordinary. I would argue that private equity moves moving offshore, they don't earn jobs, they don't do anything, they don't build factories, they don't build schools, they don't build roads, they pro move paper up and back and take over companies. And that's well, not contributing really to our make, economy. I don't know if you could make that statement across Absolutely. the board, I mean well, that they don't show me build pro anything. What private equity is not about building industry. They are about taking over companies and taking them private. Mm -hmm. That's what they do and that, by the way, is their great success financially. But I don't think it's success for our country. And at a time when the economy is really hurting and people are in dire straits, right. we really have to look at this. Uh, we are going to be looking at this. Uh, good luck with the film, Mr. Greenwald. Thanks very much for joining us. We My appreciate pleasure. it. Thanks very much, Robert Greenwald. The War on Greed. Meanwhile, it's payback time for United Health.